In this video, I'm going to discuss with you the diastropic forces and sudden endogenic forces like I promised to you last time in the French. When I come out here, international NLP and IAS coach. Uh, so, coming back to our discourse on endogenic forces. Endogenic forces can be broadly classified as diastropic forces and sudden forces. Now, let us first try to understand what are sudden forces. Sudden forces are the forces like volcanoes and earthquakes, which manifest suddenly on the earth's surface. Understand, their manifestation on earth's surface is sudden. But then, for them to manifest as sudden, like it is the human experience with these forces are sudden. For these forces to be experienced as sudden here, preparation would have happened within the earth's interior for millions of years, my dear friends. Got that one, I'm trying to tell you. So, Sudden forces or the sudden endogenic forces are those forces which are uh, sudden to human experience. Alright, coming to diastropic forces or diastrophism, slow imperceptible forces, you can never get to know even in 100 lifetimes how this portion of land surface that was flat got uh, what do you call got uh, converted into a dome okay this must have happened very very slowly and imperceptibly such slow and imperceptible endogenetic movements or forces are what you call as diastrophism now diastrophism can generally be looked into two aspects one epirogeny vertical upward forces or vertical downward forces and orogeny horizontal compressive movements or tensile movements so, I know for a fact now you will be thinking how a portion of land surface may get mm, uplifted by itself without any external factor it may be something like this my dear friends there is a magma pipe here okay and the magma is flowing here the rocks here may be highly resistant to heat hmm? so they may not melt as they come into contact with magma but then they may actually expand in their size and as they expand in their size they, they may put this upward pressure which may lead to upliftment of this portion do you connect to that how epirogeny can happen how a slow imperceptible movement can actually move up a portion of land surface so Endogenic forces are sudden diastropic. Sudden, best example, volcanoes, earthquakes. Diastropic, we have generally two types, epirogeny, orogeny. Thank you all so much, my dear friends, for watching this video. I hope I have connected to you in very basic terms what is diastropism and what is sudden endogenic forces. In my next video, I'm going to uh, talk to you about exogenetic forces. Looking forward to see you in my next video. Thank you all so much for watching this video and learning from it, my dear friends. Bye-bye.